Hey gals and guys, it's Chris Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com and today because life is not supposed to go the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> um, so for um, I was going to do another Drupal tutorial on modules and um, I did activate a couple modules and this is what I received. So now I have to um, figure out what that error is and how to correct it. This website encountered an unexpected error. Please try again. So you can't really go anywhere. There's the website, there's admin, and no matter what you do, um, it's not going to correct it. You go back, it's not going to do anything. So we have to figure out what that is. I tried to reinstall the core folder. That didn't do any good, um, just for, for giggles. And I tried to disable um, the plugins or what they're called. Um, modules for for drupal plugins for wordpress because that's what you do for wordpress so you just disable the module or the plugin the bad plugin and then um, it comes back on and then you just um, negate the plugin or fix the plugin not in drupal's case so uh, let's correct this so the first thing i tried was to go into my um, my hosting service which is host monster and i went into the advanced tab which would get me into cpanel and then i went into my um, database my php my admin and I found my database and all my cache fields here, and I just went through and cleared them all out. Uh, that didn't do any good. Still got the same error message. So then I got to figure out more information as far as what that error message means and where it's coming from. So I did find um, a tip on how to do that. So we want to go into um, either go into your file manager or if you're using FTP, um, use that. I'll log in. And I just need to go to the folder, which is MCS for me. Just find your folder or your Drupal is sitting. So there it is for me. And then you got your, you can know you're there because you got your core and your vendor files there. Those are the ones you change when you, um, when you update. So we want to go to sites. And then we want to grab this file right here. Let me bring this down here. So we want to grab this file, which is example.settings.local. And drag it over here it is right here so i'm going to rename this to settings local and then i'm going to throw that in this default folder so let me throw this over here all right then i'm going to grab settings right here and then I'm actually going to rename this just so I have the original settings. Um, it might have me change the permissions. I'll just put a one in front of it. Oh, okay. It's going to let me do it. Um, so we want to go into settings. All right. So if we scroll down, we're going to find this piece of PHP code right here. So I'm going to make that visible. Take that out of it. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to save it. And I'll drag that back over. Okay, and then get back to my page. I'm going to reload it. And there we go. I have a better idea now to what exactly um, where that error message is coming from. So I'm going to go into these files and lines and take a look at them and uh, see if I can get this corrected. So as you can see, I have my site back. Um, I tried to change files based on what that error message um, was showing me, the one that I showed you. Uh, I played around with that a bit. Uh, once I still couldn't get it going, uh, what I did is I went back again and deleted the core, deleted the vendor uh, folders, deleted all these, all these files, and then I reinstalled again. I reinstalled 10.1.3. Um, and um, it gave me an error message again. So what I did is I went into core, I went into, and the error message was telling me exactly what it, what it was, what file it was. 
So if you go into core, you go into lib, you go into Drupal, uh, you go into components. In my particular file that was missing um, was file security. So that was totally missing out of there. So when I did my transfer, my 10.1.3 transfer, it didn't transfer all the files because it didn't transfer that file. Um, I was able to go into my download and obviously get that file and change it over. And you can even see the difference on the timestamp because I did the new install yesterday and I did this this morning. Uh, same deal with uh, PHP storage. So that was another message I was getting. So um, I must have been missing files here. So once again, as you can see, uh, 917 as I'm recording this at 654, um, I put on in all these files uh, again, make sure they were all in there. And then once I did that, I refreshed and I got this. <laughs> so I was kind of surprised that um, that corrected the issue. So I'm not sure particularly how this video is going to help. Perhaps you getting to the point where you can see what the actual error messages are. Uh, I think that will be helpful. Uh, it was helpful to me to kind of be able to play around it, manipulate it, and finally decide, okay, I'm just going to dump the core again. I'm just going to dump the vendor folder again uh, in the main, the main files and uh, start from scratch. I did a fresh download. So um, just to make sure I didn't do anything kooky um, while the other download was on my laptop or uh, yeah, on my desktop. So I, I deleted everything and then I, I re-downloaded Drupal to 10.1.3 and extracted it from the zip file. And then um, here we are. So that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I wanted to tell you something else too. Oh yeah, something else you have to do once, once you're done with that. Um, so if we go into reports, and I'll take care of all these other errors and stuff, but you're going to have to go back and put these, put this back, put these back in. So that's, uh, oops, sorry. I'm doing it with one hand because I got the microphone. That's, uh, oops, that, uh, and that. So that's how we were able to read the file and and now um, if you ever have to do that again, just go back into the settings folder and do this. But for now, that's one of the error messages that I'm getting. Come on now, cooperate. And I will save and I will show you where to make sure to put that. Uh, oops, went too far. So you go into the main folder, you want to go to sites, you want to go to defaults. And I usually just change, rename. I usually just, just so I have the old ones, put a four in front of it. Okay, and then settings. And then it should get rid of that, um, one of those error messages anyways. And then I'll work on the other ones. That's error messages I already showed you in other in other um, tutorials. So there you go. This one I've already showed you in another tutorial how to get rid of, and this might be based on the new plugin that I that I put in. I'm not sure what that one is yet. Even further than that, what I did is I actually um, uninstalled the photo plugin that I used. So that was, I guess, giving me the issue the whole time. I and mean, I installed the plugin. I guess the moral of that story is to. Uh, just be mindful of the plugins that you're using and there's always bumps in the road as we go that's why i kind of make these videos as i go if i do have some type of problem or error i like to share them with everybody if they're having the same thing so if you're having errors um and you did what i did with the settings that i showed in the beginning of this video and you're getting a message and you can't quite figure it out um, i'd be interested to see what you're getting. Um, if you need help with that, I try to recreate it. And I'm always interested in um, trying to correct errors. Uh, that's usually, that's how you learn is um, to fuck up. <laughs> so I must learn a lot because I fuck up a lot. Um, yeah, so great. I can go back and uh, continue my other Drupal tutorials. And uh, we know how to do that basically um, for next time, if that happens to crop up again. And I'll just have to be careful what, uh, what plugins or modules, I should say, um, 
And if you, uh, if you do want to delete a module, you just go, obviously it's pretty, you can't do it from here. You have to go out into uninstall. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Huh. All right. I don't know what that was about, but uh, yeah, you just go into uninstall and then hit what you want to uninstall. And sometimes you have to uninstall one before you can uninstall another. That's what I had to do with the the photos. There was two different ones I had to uninstall. But anyway, anyways, that's it, gals and guys. I hope this helped you somehow. Uh, please put any um, comments you have down in the description. If you're having the same problem, what kind of problem you're having, send me um, at uh, contact at mymediahelper.com. Send me any screenshots. Send me anything. Anytime you have any problem with anything, because I'm always interested to go in and recreate it. And I'm always interested to see um, if I can fix it and how to fix it. And it gives me fodder for these videos. So anyways, please subscribe to this channel if you please could. And please share this with any Drupal, uh, maybe new Drupal people like myself. I'm getting back into it. I used it a long time ago, so I haven't used it in years. So this is kind of a retraining of my brain. Um, hit uh yeah did i say subscribe yeah like <laughs> share and uh hit the bell for updates and i'll catch you later bye, -bye.